Yo, Visanti here, and Nintendo Rec is coming up. We're having a watch party, so there's a featured guest here. Um, her name was Lightbender, uh, aka B. You probably hear her in the background as we're both gonna react to this Nintendo Direct. This one Crash and Spyro and Smash. Spyro and Smash? Yeah, and Crash Bandicoot. I don't even oh, play nice. Smash, but I want them. Oh my gosh, Caterpie and Smash? What would it do, Harden? Ring shot. It could be like a virtual fighter or maybe a fighter as well. That's why I've seen around as rumors, so I don't. All right, here we go. It's starting. Um, for Mike, your side, you can just edit it on your side, by the way. All right, here we go. I wasn't. One day, Pyra just disappeared. Hmm. Did you mind? Oh, it's Final Fantasy? Wait. This looks so good. Oh. You know, Blade, that's the character. I'm like, where's that character from? I remember seeing that. Find her anywhere. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find you, whatever it takes. I feel like I recognize a voice actor. <laughs> this is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. Watch I this. couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation oh. to join Oh my god, really? Already? Another Dino Break Chronicles? And... Oh my... Whoa. I was not expecting a smash. <laughs> I didn't expect a smash right off the bat. The power of the Damn. Oh my gosh, she's awesome! I mean, I'm glad there's more female characters though. And these are seasoned fighters. Yeah, now I just gotta wish for female characters with clothes on. <laughs> She has a decent amount of armor. Talk about a tight spot. Mithra? Get your sight. Let me handle this. Whoa, what the heck happened? Can she switch party members? What the heck? Mithra. Oh, that's her old. Huh? Wait, are they dual personalities? I don't I don't know Xeno Blade. Too much. Damn, you can switch. Yeah, yeah. What happened? What's going on? Why is this thing lagging? <laughs> it's probably too many people on the Nintendo like website. Oh god. Is this gonna be like Sheik back in the old melee days that you can just swap in between? Damn. 
quite the spectacle, aren't they? Wait, grumps? Uh, I've missed this whole body. Mind if I watch a while. Oh, look how oh, that's a new here. stage. And there's a boy. Shiloma! I'll lend you a hand. Sacred arrow! Unspurred! Burning sword! Nailed it! Sure did! Right, so he, he became the final smash. Shulk? Shulk. I never expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you! Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too! Nice. I did not expect. But then this pretty much, yeah, it's gonna be like sheep. This makes me want to play Xenoblade now. I haven't played Xenoblade, but heard good things. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Damn, I would not expect me to know big. Okay. I mean, you what know you just Chronicles. saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to two seeing their moveset ally. in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's like sheep, but a lot, lot quicker March, with the changes. So we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo so Switch. So better sheep. Yeah. Peek with a sword. The ball guys. Huh? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. It just makes me so happy. Ooh. Well, when are they gonna have custom rooms? I just shed a tear here, like, oh my god. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer 2021. Summer, that's so long. <laughs> You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Oh, damn. Wait, what? They're revealing that on the Nintendo thing? To uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. Isekai. By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds also launches summer. on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Oh, it's an Annapurna game, so it's gonna be good. Skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Yeah, mystery game. Famicom Detective Club: The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club: The Girl Who Stands Behind. Two I've ever deep played cuts any from Nintendo games? history are coming to North America for the first time. Nintendo system. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. That reminds me of Phoenix Wright. Suspense, right. drama. Hey, look, that guy is in Genshin. Wait at every corner. <laughs> You'll be on the edge of your I had to play Phoenix Wright for uh, for school, and it was in amazing. Game, like I like that game a lot. Complex murder yeah. case. I only played the first one Family though. in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. <laughs> but that's not the only case to crack. Okay, 
In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? <gasps> Yeah, I'm looking at music. Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, is that like a single the mystery per game? Battles begins. I think our giant one. There's some mysteries in there. I never played that game. I wouldn't. This is a war game. I see warriors. Of course. OP warlords. Cool. Oh, Samurai Warrior, my bad. Not Dynasty. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1000 battles. In Samurai Warriors 5, slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. Huh. After 20 long Ooh. years, Legend of Mana featuring oh, Yeah, I was like this is like Legend of Mana is coming to Nintendo Switch. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. I love how they kept the art style. The world map yeah. is empty. In this During your travels, right here. you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest They're up They're gonna home. be co-op though, that's the question. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. I wish they would announce Nintendo Dogs. I legit missed that game. Monster Hunter Rise. And dogs. I don't think I ever played it. Oh my gosh, she was so cute! Oh, these interesting monsters. Still considering if I want to get Monster Hunter Rise. I don't want to. So many games coming out soon. Yeah, there's like so much stuff coming out in the summer. I really want a second update on Pokemon Snap. Like, I want to know more. Elder, yeah, me too. I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Villagers, Two assemble. Years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge yet! Damn, look at that giant. Uh, we can't lose this game! Pull yourselves together! You're not getting in! Let's go, everyone! Go rampage somewhere else! You listen to me now! Ooh. Here it comes! Watch out for the apex! 
Start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. Oh. We must stop the calamity. How can they even carry that? Those are huge. A lot of the a lot of the characters here can carry big weapons. Oh, there they go. I think that's what Vash oh. wants to get. That looks hella cool though. That looks amazing. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Damn, Rise I get from Capcom. <laughs> How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? I like playing monsters? the Gunblade because I get to bounce around. Stay tuned for the latest installment in the, in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. That's a hammer. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, Mario Goff. The fairway is open once again. You want to play Goff? Tee off in the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. No, we need Wii Sports. Wind and terrain. What if you can? What did they change Mario's golf to be like Wii Sports? Swing. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters wow. on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. Ooh, rejected. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes and a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition okay. to button controls, you can also use motion, right control motion control by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. There's, there's the, the Wii Sports Gently aspect. swing the controller to have your character swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. Now, do they have online co-op and how many players? On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf. What the hell is racing now? This one, speed Golf. Speed Golf. Here, it's always your I just turn. want Matt from Everyone Wii Sports to like be featured somewhere. Time, you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. This one looks fun though. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh my gosh, the way he's running! Yeah. He posed. Mode. As a run, me run character, like yeah. you'll start yeah. out as a rookie and develop Ooh, your Oh, maybe Matt from Wii Sports is gonna show up! Oh, here we go, we can use me characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then, Mia. allocate points to different stats. Oh, you can lock on RPG elements? However you'd like. I don't want to get this you now. Can also use Please be your online. In versus play. Put your online. Golf oh my gosh, imagine the, the blue shell. Mario Golf yeah. Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop Come on, man. after this presentation. You gotta, you gotta tell me if it's online co-op. The latest game I mean, uh, in the Mario Golf series versus. adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this game Xenoblade Chronicles. On Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Yeah, we golf. Do you like think Mar you can practice that a lot? Yeah, it's like Mario Kart but with golf and on your legs. the Hyperion Lackey Reese? Oh my gosh, I love Borderlands. this game so much. Recover a mountain of cash. This is it a remake? Set between Borderlands 2 and 3. This game includes all five Yeah, it's it's a remake. Classic Borderlands yeah. humor. I like, I like Borderlands 1 when I play. Hunters are just a handful I'm surprised they're like redoing cuz it's a Telltale game adventure. and like Telltale like is gone now. I'm surprised they're doing games now like after they're closed. Switch, March 24. Yeah, maybe someone took over. Of My Cap, friend used to work there, and like the way they like let go of people was Switch. horrible. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety okay. of display options to relive that sweet arcade. Capcom goodness. arcade. Get okay. 1943: The Battle of Midway for free. Then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is oh. also available. Don't Scratch don't that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Oh, what is this, Sims? As a zombie, Wait, so is you just oh, can't zombie. get enough of it. 
In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the That did look like, <laughs> like the Sims for a second. Yeah, Replenish your bodily this one looks interesting. Head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubs the zombie and Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch. March 16th. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be everyone Begin coming today, out of their houses Nintendo once Eastern. quarantine is over. Oh god. Like zombies, but with a brain. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass beam katana wielding assassin Travis touches. This is something One Punch Man should be. You fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. What? Or then face Damn. off against the okay. unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study that their tactics Wait, carefully what? to gain the upper Did they have like all these different games in here? With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly Was skills. Was this just a Final Fantasy and Phasmophobia thing happening on screen in this game? The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some. This is like uh, many games in one. Whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, 3. Nintendo Switch, it looks August 27th. Though. Exterminate demons in he heaven. As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> To do someone's dirty work. So hard. Oh, is this a shooting game? The first person shooting. Did they make it like arcade mode in a way? I wonder if you move with your joy con then you can heal. Killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Damn, so many interesting games. Oh my god. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White. Coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. The DC Superhero oh, Girls what? are here to save hey. the day. Hi everyone, my name is Barbara Gordon. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's oh, this looks like the Lego games, but just with what different graphics. Yeah. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, Look like a decent game, photos though. To share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something Justice. really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming. But when Justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically sourced onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. Yeah, Ready the, the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Well, oh, juice cannons. I was thinking, is this like a uh, Lance vs. Zombies? Because I saw mushrooms. Oh, it is. It is Lance vs. Zombies. But as like Team Fortress 2? Wait a minute. Back on mission. Pick some grass offline. This is like coming out in a month. Oh. 
<laughs> the one that... And is who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. What's this? Band together Metopia. on a quest to face evil and save. Hey. Hey. Metopia is coming get this to and Nintendo then, uh, Switch. I'll recruit you, recruit you guys. Cast me characters in. I really miss the Mii the Plaza game. from the Wii. <laughs> Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your Mii creations and make them even more fabulous. In the world of Miitopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. Did he just say okay, Karen? This can give you an advantage during <laughs> battle. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Damn. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good! Care for Everyone it, get a horse, and it'll though. lend a hand, or poop. But where's Matt from Wii Sports? Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted hearted Wait, we're, we're the horse Tokyo. and them going on Coming a date? To Nintendo Switch, May 21st. Pre-orders <laughs> begin today on Nintendo eShop. Interesting, interesting. Super Wait, Mario oh, here we go. Are coming Animal Crossing. Hey. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect game. for your island. Yeah. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom too. and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. And you get so an actual block now. And yeah. wherever you'd like. <laughs> oh, you can and also get a thong place two warp pipes. Oh, warp pipes? Do they actually work? Oh snap, they actually work. <laughs> I don't have to oh walk anywhere you anymore. <laughs> on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? Yeah, that's a work. Oh, this is gonna be like Super Mario February Maker 25. all over again. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available Damn. via Nook Shopping go starting my March turn prices because I have to play this. I want to play this. <laughs> Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. 25th, huh? We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. I won't be home. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week, we had the yeah. global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. Games, more games. Oh. Graphics look nice. Fire Emblem? HD 2D. He leaves us no recourse! Swords! Wait, wait, wait what? S Frost will answer for its crimes today. Tactics? Oh, Are these the tactics game. Why did they tease this with those like really high quality graphics and then go no into this? So like... decide how we proceed. Oh, it's Final Fantasy Tactics, in a way. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Yeah, I think this is Final Fantasy because then that looked like War Division. 
Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. <laughs> Though the hostilities <laughs> ceased to be easy truce, <laughs> decades later, the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remain. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? Ah! Ah! tactics. Classism. Is there a class this system? That's what I want to know. RPG battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location. I love tactics games, so weapons. I might, I might play this. The range this. can be extended by attacking from higher ground. Have you played any Fire Emblem games on stream? Such as bows and yeah, I played three, Thus, three houses, but I didn't finish the terrain it. And other elements oh my gosh, you should finish. Hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible it. not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. Ooh, blank. Where are we here? Charge Grenade. into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by Damn. first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Mm. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. It is of the utmost importance to survey reaction. the battlefield Elemental reaction. before taking action. I'm not super sure if I'm sold on a 3D map, but like 2D characters. Throughout the story, you will I be mean, faced like Final with Final Tactics back in the day. In a variety of situations. Oh. The gameplay itself looks awesome, Utility. though. Morality, liberty, collective oh, and so decisions will establish your Damn. conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who oh, will join okay. your cause. Interesting. Once this more, more fun I would ask you right now, Jimmy. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations I hear are set up by system. vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they oh. refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical Lies. decisions are made, your journey may take you down have paths voice acting divergent too. Oh. from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new Working tactical title. Working RPG title. from Square Enix. That's Launch. not a great title. <laughs> triangle Strategy. Please be on the lookout for more information. At least it's not Salt Wars. Ah oh, damn. Ne After this next year, a demo version of this game oh, really? will be available to download on Nintendo oh, eShop. I kind of want to stream future, it. We'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing your responses. Too many on things the demo. to play this week. Um, Please like look this. forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? That's Star Wars. Okay. Yo, wait, this looks so good. Wait, the Star Wars Battle Royale. A teaser that was great Star that's all Wars i needed Hunters now i went competitive Free to play online oh, game set between episode six and time. seven clash in this third person shooter coming to nintendo switch in 2021 all right let's do this right, <laughs> zynga's so still huge knockout city interviews take one remember farmville farmville they was zynga for yeah, different yeah. reasons hmm. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck Why up in some tower pixelate. waiting for a hero. In my line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, 
Just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm this like a Kung Fu master. Or I can catch bullets. <laughs> what is this? Oh, interesting. Dodgeball, Fort, Fortnite, dodgeball, battle royale, dodgeball. Looks like it's battle royale dodgeball. Be the ball, be the ball. Catch me. Be the ball. What the hell? Be the ball. Lost it. Can't believe we're losing to a bunch of dairy farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey. It doesn't look too bad, actually. Not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. What? Interview's over. Come on, man, one more game. Knockout City. Yeah, this one looks interesting. It's pretty soon too, May. The fight for survival starts now. Hang uh -huh. on tight, cause you're all going to play a little game of I mean, like for Persona. Me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and yeah, Zero this is so cute. Comes a fight for your life, literally. Danganronpa. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the twelve of you, known as the Go Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet. Sorry to scare you all, but the game is canceled. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme. I'm park glad there are subtitles because I heard I don't want to die itched. Set off on a <laughs> captivating journey across the country that blends side scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club. Venturing onto mm. Nintendo Switch. Wait, World's May End? It's a game that World's End something too. I can't remember what it was. Wield the powers of Olympus. Oh, look, the physical release of Hades. Physical release. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards. Has it been released digitally release on the Switch on Nintendo yet? Switch. This version comes with a couple know. of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. I think it the might be, but like, I mean, that's Hades cool. It's an amazing soundtrack. game, so like, might as well have it's like physical copies of it. Hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, I mean, known for his work too, on previous Super Giant stuff. titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium. I mm -hmm. never finished Bastion. I want to go back to it. Gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Super Giant's art Is that the one with the rewind? And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on this March 19th. physical, 19. you just get like a book and stuff. Three deadly action games, one Ninja masterful Gaiden? collection. Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos and team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Never Collection Ninja Gaiden. slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. I had to play for a uh, game design class too, and it, it's uh, pretty fun. I mean, the gameplay looks like. Oh, the Hyrule Warriors. Are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity.
they gonna, are you gonna tease us with Breath of the Wild 2 or anything? I love age. that this became a thing and we don't have to buy like whole new games like we yeah. did like years ago. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. All right. Was... Oh yeah, Baby Default, Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. Damn. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. Oh, updated demo. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the Brave oh, Knight the Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the Demon Realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one Nowadays, of three supporting people need to do online co-op. Carry for defense, like, carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. <laughs> Ghosts and Goblins no, Resurrection family. launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Hmm. Eight protagonists. Eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. They really need to Travel announce Nintendo Online 2.0. Many of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist, they views, have like something new about like they're trying to revamp the back battles, end. and a new scenario for the protagonist. They're doing themselves. on their organization. Saga Frontier remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo oh, Switch system. Apex Legends. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends. Wow, I'd be surprised that like play, and this more. game running on the Switch. On Nintendo Switch can get yeah. an all-new legendary Pathfinder skin, and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. You, will you be playing with Plus, other people? Plus, for the first two weeks play? after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo. I Switch. had it on the PlayStation, but I didn't play it enough. It does, Apex it is fun, but like I just didn't play it enough. <laughs> How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you. A little bit more. Oh, Direct. look at that so we tease. Hope you'll stick with us. Next, yeah. please take a look at this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, for sure it's going to stream. Hello there. I'm A.G. Aonuma. Oh, Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2? Hey, hey. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel. Oh man, I thought Zelda him snapping Wild meant game. something. Unfortunately, we don't Damn have it. anything to share right now. Damn it. We apologize. <laughs> oh my god. Proceeding smoothly and we what? should be able to bring you some new information this year. <laughs> For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Wow, While rude. You're waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Oh. Please be Wind Waker. Uh, what, is it? what did they do to Link's face? Did they make it all cartoony based on the the cartoon back in the day? <laughs> Excuse me, princess. Skyward. Skyward <laughs> Sword. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. I played the game before. The Legend of this. Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. 
and we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield. A workout like, like arm day. To Joy-Con controllers. Mm, 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 mm. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. It should make it independent. You can perform so you other can go, actions like, like using both controllers at the same time. Like, yeah, yeah. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Oh, that looks so oh, good. The right wow. Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the Damn. left features a Hylian shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward whale, Sword has the game depicting the earliest Oh my gosh, will I finally get Zelda controllers that work? Mine don't work. The creation of oh, the you should sword probably itself. get one. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. July. The Legend of also, Zelda Skyward Sword happen. HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. I wish they had put more okay, work into the, the lighting next game in this game. Will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Oh, last one. Another Smash character. He snapped. It has to be Pokemon Snap. Could be. No. Not, not actual game footage, though. Looks too realistic for Pokemon. Oh, it's Splatoon. I had a friend that was a competitive Splatoon player. She would, like, travel for it. Customization. What is this? Is this a, an RPG version now? <laughs> well, you can change your spit. Can I play as the fish? <laughs> Look at it wallowing on the floor. I don't even care about the main character. He stole the show. please RPG RPG oh 
Sound of Music increasing. Oh, it's Platoon 3! Not even... I don't even know. That's way sooner than I expected. What's gonna be different? Just new maps and stuff? Are you done? I like the beats. Oh, next year. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. Yeah. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Okay, okay. Mash. Wait, did they say when the character was going to come out? They didn't, right? I don't, I don't think it did. But it looks like it's like pretty much Oh, didn't. Man, I thought there was going to be a Sonic announcement. Go oh, Genshin Impact to the Switch? Oh my god. They're not, it's not coming out. Like, they, they just gave up on it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe in the future. A year from now. A lot of the games in the beginning I was more interested in than the ones at the end. Yeah, the order they picked stuff. It's, I mean, I guess maybe we're just not that into Splatoon, but like that. And then there's that uh, HD. I'm like, yeah. I don't, I don't, for me, I don't really want to play like remixes and stuff like that. I just want to play like games. Yeah, um, true. It was a lot of remakes. All right, guys. Any other comments? Do you have any more? Oh. I'm curious about the Star Wars one because you said like you haven't heard about Zynga in a while and like they used to make like really simple like mobile games and like Farmville. So like I'm wondering how like that game's gonna work because it's gonna be just like a ton of microtransactions. Looks like it looks like uh Battle Royale, so it might be microtransaction like Fortnite. I wonder how they'll do that on the Switch. I mean they have Fortnite on the Switch. Oh, oh, true. And you probably can like buy credit and stuff. I actually don't know how like the the selling like small items works. I mean, they have skins and stuff like that, or like fancy looking lightsaber. Probably be. Yeah, but tactics game, and then uh, in the beginning there were. What else was happening? In... Back. Bravely Default. Fall Guys coming to Switch. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about Fall Guys. Oh, Monster Hunter Rise. Oh, Mario Golf. That one was in. They have online versus, then I'll, I will get it. Do you get it if it has online? Yeah, if it's online, yes. I'm still waiting for them to like make Mario Party where you can actually play online with other people because that would be perfect. The latency is always an issue. Well, yeah, for they do have like online multiplayer for it, but like it's only mini games. You cannot actually play the boards in it, so it's not uh, it's not great. They have this weird zombie game that look interesting, but I don't. Know. But no more heroes. It's like it looks like a combination of like all the games at once. So I don't know. I might be curious with that. And then Neil White was interesting. If it's actually like you can actually control your Joy-Con to aim and shoot. Oh, 
I should need to go some errands. Hopefully I see guys... the chat, the little <laughs> Nintendo chat. Everyone's saying Genshin Impact. Yeah, Genshin. Yeah, thanks everyone for dropping by and watching it with us. Hope you guys enjoy it and yeah, just can keep talking about about it in uh in these this hang up here that later days, yeah. <laughs>